So DC coupled batteries versus AC coupled batteries. Well, from an installer point of view, one of the biggest advantage of an AC coupled battery such as, such as the SIG Energy system is it's an all-in-one system uh, and the Tesla Powerwall, uh, especially the three. So the more connections that need to be done by the installer, the more room there is for error, such has been the case on this installation, which is costing the owner over five grand to get fixed up. And this is brand new uh, and the installer has completely effed it up. So let's have a look at all the connections. You've got about eight there. And then you've got another four going into the switchboard for the backup. You've got the CTs which have been joined in here. So that's two, four, six connections. You've got the AC isolators, six there. Ah, uh, sorry, six on one side, six on the other side, plus your neutral, plus your earth. You've got your comms cables going back to each inverter. So there's four RS-485 terminals, plus you've got uh, five of your AC and then two of your DC. And then coming down to this one, we've got two from the battery, two from the PV, two lots of RS-485, so that's eight. Three from the AC, sorry. Yeah, three, because it's a single phase. Three from the AC. Two more for the voltage references, because it's a three phase system. And then the battery, we've got two terminals in there, plus RS-485 again, as opposed to the SIG Energy system, which has your solar connections. So say six if you've got three strings, your inverter connection five, an ethernet cable, which isn't like an RS-485 where you're doing them individually. So there's a lot less chance for error. And then you've got your home backup gateway, which is pretty wide. So much faster to install an AC coupled system than it is to install one of these things where there's just cables and conduits and crap everywhere, not to mention how ugly it looks. So from an installer point of view, AC coupled is far better in my opinion, um, because there's way less time spent on site and way less room for error and uh, costly time spent on site or getting a third party such as myself located in Perth, Western Australia, fixing these sort of fuck ups every week. $40,000 solar system hasn't worked from day one.